A new home for the Art Gallery in Nova Scotia has been talked about for my entire professional life. So this project, to finally see it brought to the waterfront, is going to be one of the most significant cultural changes to the landscape of, of Nova Scotia uh, in my lifetime. To meet this challenge, we're thrilled to be able to team with Diller Scofidio and Renfro. The AGNS has a truly ambitious mission to make art accessible to all and to bring out the voices of provincial artists working today. At its waterfront home, it will have brand new opportunities for expanding programming and outreach, and it will greatly extend the city's public space and cultural offer. This will be a vibrant new civic hub. We imagine the new AGNS as an anti-institution, an open and democratic place that catalyzes new forms of cultural life at the Halifax waterfront. The building will have a commanding presence on the water's edge. And while grounded in its particular place and history, it will feel new, providing a space to convene, learn, and exchange ideas in a place where the most challenging contemporary issues are being confronted through the medium of art. The new AGNS will be radically inclusive, uninhibiting, and welcoming to the widest possible audience. It will be a place that provokes, inspires, and nurtures an ever-deepening appreciation of art, as well as the natural environment it inhabits. Successfully integrating the new museum and the uh, Salter site into the neighborhood with the planned and uh, existing developments and with the existing boardwalk are going to be critical to making this a really special place. The development of this design has involved a close technical collaboration with all of our consultant team to ensure the fundamentals of buildability, operation and resiliency. Throughout the design process, we've had workshops with our Mi'kmaq advisory panel to help us to see this place in a way that we couldn't have done on our own. And we've also begun the important and ongoing process of working with the local placemaking consultancy, Colab, so that we can identify ways that we can ensure this becomes the gallery for all of Nova Scotians. We envision the Salter Block as a continuous public space, stretching the entire site from the Lower Water Street to the Boardwalk, extending north over Salter Street to the Foundation Block. The AGNS building will touch the ground lightly, lifting the galleries up on beautiful tree columns for the space to flow freely below it. This approach will protect the sensitive artwork from flooding on the pier due to climate change, and it will open up the street level to a gracious and welcoming urban living room, part of the public realm and its programming. The galleries above will form a village-like arrangement of different kinds of spaces, large and small, some with daylight from the top, some with expansive views out to the city and the water. The shoreline will be transformed into a semi-natural edge, pushed and pulled along its length to create fingers of land that extend out into the water and allow inlets of water into the land to create beaches and saltwater marshes. This restored semi-natural coastal edge will provide a variety of experiences, allowing visitors access and views to this dynamic waterfront that recalls its indigenous past prior to the landfill that created the industrial port. Not only will this living shoreline be beautiful, but it creates an inherent resiliency with a bioengineered soft edge and planting that thrives in the tidal fluctuations, making legible the natural ebbs and flows of the sea, habitat for diverse flora and fauna, as well as people. As the landscape slopes up to the building and transitions to the plazas around the building, it creates a series of outdoor rooms that spill out from the museum, activating the site and creating a seamless integration of building and landscape. These outdoor spaces will host day-to-day -day uses as well as gathering and events and create a destination that is welcoming to all, in all seasons, and for one and for many. The Halifax community has a strong 2050 plan for a sustainable future. Our design thinking is driven by four initiatives that are part of that plan, that being water, health, comfort, and community. The health of people and the local ecosystems are critical to our design thinking. We have integrated a floating gallery habitat that serves as a place to showcase art as well as remediate oysters, mussels, and kelp colonies at the water's edge. Then along the building's perimeter, we have designed a living machine wetland that actively treats the gray water from the museum before allowing it to enter back into the harbor waterway. Today, building enclosure systems can interact with the environment and develop mutually beneficial relationships between our human conditioning systems and the natural environment. Each one of these gallery boxes are uniquely designed to showcase how facade assemblies can collect and clean water, filter and reduce smog from air, absorb and redirect energy from the sun, as well as sequester carbon within its material composition, resulting in a visitor experience that demonstrates how we are becoming smarter in the ways that we build today. 
The AGNS will reshape the waterfront around art, culture, and community. It will create a new kind of gallery space to bring out the voices of artists working across the province. We look forward to exploring this once-in-a-generation opportunity with you.